Hello people and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are in sunny England, well we're not, we're in England as you can tell because you know you're in England because it's always raining. I'm just down here in Preston at Balka and um, BMW and we're going to be filming today with a brand new BMW M135i. So just a quick look around at the stock inside before we go and see the new M135i. We've got a lovely Suzuka Grey uh, BMW M2 competition here. Got a extremely rare BMW M1. I do believe there's not many of these in the country at all. Love that white interior. Yep, that's the X Drive 850i. We've got an X2 M35i here. That is absolutely, there's not many, well, I don't know actually, I don't, know, I don't even know how to explain how sexy this is. Got a lovely red M5, F90. Wow. And then just here, we've got the brand new 3 Series. Got an M4 convertible just there. Ollie's just having a seat. And then we've got the brand new Z4 M40i here, and a lovely, like, matte grey. People say it's a Supra. People, it's not a Supra, it's completely different. And then just over here, we've got another car that I can't really explain how sexy it is, but an uh, X3M competition. Again, finished in a lovely red. And we've got another 8 Series here. I really do like them wheels on that. I've never seen an 8 Series spec with them wheels. We've even got carbon fibre on the mirrors. I wonder if this is like a uh, M Performance pack of some kind. We've even got a, like a carbon lip spoiler. It's got to be some kind of a uh, M performance pack. It's even got a carbon rear diffuser bit there. And if we just come up to the top, this is where the more the standard BMWs are. Got some bags if anyone's interested. Got a bike. Got a standard 4 series there. Another Z4, but I do believe this is the 30i. X2 and here we've got the brand new 1 series but this is the normal standard 1 series so this is going to be interesting to see how this compares to the 135 because I've still not had a good look around the 135 yet I like the wheels red leather as well Got a 2 Series Active Tourer, I'm not a fan of that. And then coming just down here we've got a 2 Series Cab. Next to like a van type 220D, I've no idea what that is. I've never seen one of them before. And here we have the eyes. We've got the BMW i8 Roadster. Absolutely love that colour. It's like a copper, like a bronzy copper colour. And we've got the i3 there. Cream leather, what did you just say? You just tried to open the door and what? You can't find the handle? The handle's just there, my friend. It's not open. Oh, yeah, it is. That is sick. A lovely interior as well. It's crazy though. Got the Roadster badge in there. I would show you everything outside and the forecourt because we've got like two forecourts here at BMW. They're quite big. However, it's absolutely lashing it down. As you can tell, that guy knows because he's brought an umbrella. If I'd have brought an umbrella, I'd have gone outside. But I'm just not. So yeah, let's go on now and take a look at the brand new BMW M135i.
Right guys, let's take my first look at the car now. I've never seen one of these before. This is my first ever time seeing it. And I do apologise about that annoying sound in the background. That's the BMW garage bit where they do all the repairs on the cars, etc, etc. So yeah, we're just here with a brand new 2019 uh, BMW M135i. Now, this car is... It's, it's causing a lot of stare on the internet. People are not liking it. People are loving it. Um, I personally, now seeing it in person, I actually really, really like it. I'm actually a big fan. Um, from pictures, I wasn't really that keen, but in person, it actually looks really, really good. I actually think that grill's actually not that bad. Uh, people are saying that that grill's hideous. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit bigger than the last M140i, but it's BMW. They've got to change the design language. Every car cannot look the same, and this is the new one series, and we've just got to deal with it. So it fin it's finished in Misano Blue Metallic. Um, a lot of uh, controversy as well about this now being the uh, X drive system, which is a four wheel drive system. I do believe it sends torque up to 50 50 split, so, but mostly it's front wheel drive. And the other thing that people are not liking is the engine size. It's now a two litre four cylinder instead of that amazing straight six B58 from the M140i. Again, we can't live with the same engine for forever. Um, things have got to change. Um, there's new ways, this is the new way now of BMW's new 1 Series and again we've just got to deal with it um, but we just had to listen to the car as it started up and one of the BMW managers actually give it a few revs I actually think it sounds really really good um, it probably won't come through on camera as what we can hear in person but if you do get a chance to see one of these in person and have a listen to it I do recommend it because I definitely think it would change your opinion but this is just my personal opinion on the car seeing it up close now for the first time uh, they start at around £36,000, which, give or take, it's not a bad price. Uh, but the A45S, I do believe, has got 100 bhp more than this from a similar uh, four-cylinder engine. Uh, this, is actually, this car actually produces 302 brake horsepower um, and 331 foot-pounds of torque. Also, 0 to 60 is 4.8 seconds. It's limited to 155 miles per hour, as all BMWs usually are. And the gearbox is the 8-speed ZF. Um, but yeah, seeing the car in person, I think it looks really, really cool. You've got these air vent bits at the front here. Got a few grills down the bottom. And then we've got that massive angry grill. I actually think it looks okay. In person, it's actually not that big. Got the new style to the headlights. I saw this on pictures. I did think the car was a lot more taller, but it's not. I thought it was just going to be like an X2, but it, it's not. Um, Coming down now to the wheels. And um, we've got them big brake calipers there. To distinguish an M135i, as the previous uh, M140i, you just got to look for these grey style mirrors. And as we come to the back, this is probably my favourite part of the car, is the back. I like the way this, uh, the, the, like it arches just there. Um, and I'm sure people are going to be doing like modifications like rear diffusers, maybe lowering it a bit more, uh, spacers, wheels, exhaust, you name it. Uh, but I actually think it sits rather well. I mean, it could do a, maybe a little bit of a drop, but not much. Got the M135i badging at the back there. And yeah, overall, I'd actually just think it's a good looking car. Ollie? Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm just with Retro Cars today as well. Ollie, what do you think? It's your first, it's your first look at the car. So you tell people what you actually think as well of your first impression. Uh, I think it's it's a good rival against like the A35, A35. Well, this rare, this rivals the A35. Yeah. Um, I'm not too sure if BMW are going to do a faster version of this car to maybe rival the A45, but I'd imagine they probably would. I mean, they'd be stupid not to. But yeah, carry on. I mean, it's different compared to the normal M135 as that we see. I mean, and what you mean the previous M140? Yeah. I prefer it, I think. You, got, you prefer this? Yeah. It's got more technology, it's got the Alcantara seats. I definitely um, think it looks a lot more sporty than the M1 foot, well, than the previous M140i. I mean, to be fair, I actually can't believe I'm actually saying good positive things about it, because when I saw it on pictures, I just thought, wow, that's hideous. And I'm sure that's what a lot of people's impression is going to be when they see it on pictures. But in person, it's changed my mind completely. And now we're going to take a look at the inside. And one of the biggest improvements of the inside, as you'll notice right now, 
are them brand new BMW M style sports seats. They, in my opinion, look absolutely amazing. They're actually Alcantara as well. Got the big thick M style sports steering wheel there. But look at them seats. I think I think they're brilliant. And even in the back, there's that annoying sound again. Do apologise. In the back, follows through Alcantara. Got the M stripes on the uh, on the seat belts, and also a bit on the seats. Them seats are sick. Big fan of them. So now we'll take a seat inside of the brand new M135i. And just like on the outside, it's changed dramatically in here as well. I mean, I think I'm going to shut this door. Car might steam up, but uh, actually just parts right in front of a stunning BMW M5. But yeah, we've got a virtual cockpit here. We've got your touch screen and navigation and a multimedia system, etc. Radio, you name it on there. And these buttons down here, I do believe they're actually not buttons anymore, they're like a touch screen. So if I touch, yeah, as you can tell at the top there, yeah, they're, they're not even a button, that's not a button anymore, that's really cool. Coming down here, usual BMW stuff down here, but you can tell the car is more driver focused than before. Um, they've definitely gone for more of that sporty feel than that normal laid back one series you get a big difference from normal one series to 135i whereas before 140i interior just wasn't that different and the outside just didn't look that sporty compared to this but i just love these seats the feel to them are brilliant and they're actually really comfy they definitely these bits here hold you really well i mean if they took one of these on track i can imagine that it'd, it'd keep you in your seat and you'd have a lot of fun in it And as you can tell, BMW mood lighting, you can actually change that. So I think if we go onto the home screen, that's on the right, no, that's the rail, that's the radio. Go onto the home screen, I'm not too sure how to get into it. If we press on car, there we go, they've got the uh, little one series there in the same colour as the actual car, that's cool. Uh, we're going settings, there, there we go. Interior lighting, you can actually change the colour of it. That's a really good touch. So at the moment it's blue. And that's what it'll look like inside the car. Orange is pretty cool. And then we'll go back home again. Go back into car and you've got so much. I mean, you can spend hours and hours and hours of going through. Um, got sports displays there. You can spend hours and hours and hours going through all this. Uh, but I'm not gonna bore you guys and do that today. There is the nav, so if we just Press on map, there we are. Got some apps. There the installed apps. Spotify, Bluetooth, connect, connect your mobile. Yeah, super cool. I'm not going to play around with that anymore, but got some buttons on the steering wheel there as well. Paddles feel really cool. This steering wheel is so thick. It's got a really, really good feel to it. It's, it's proper M, it feels like a proper M steering wheel. So if we come down here, you've got the, you've got the Sport, the Comfort, and the Nico Pro button. If I press Sport, I'm guessing that might change the dials. Oh yeah, and it's also changed on there as well. And we've got Comfort, and then we've got Eco Pro. And it's actually changing on there. So that's in comfort. And now we're on to sport. I'm guessing you could individually, yeah, you can. You can figure it. So you can have like the steering in sport. You can have the engine in comfort if you want to. I don't think I don't see why you don't see why on earth you'd do that. Keep the engine in sport. Keep the steering in comfort, I guess. Transmission in sport for the fastest shifts. And yeah easy as that all configured for you and off you go so let's take a look at this four cylinder come on Ollie do the honours lift it straight up yep oh there we go carbon fibre there we got little bits of is that carbon fibre oh, all over oh wow 
thickness. We've got carbon fiber. Got a really cool M Performance plaque on the engine there. But yeah, there it is, guys. The new two-liter four-cylinder. Like I said before, when we took a listen to it, I actually think it sounded decent. Before I end off the video, I'm going to show you the difference between this and the previous one series. Now, I do know that's not an M140i, but you kind of get the gist of the front ends, how they've changed. Yeah, it does look quite a lot bigger than that one series in the corner there, the previous one, but not by much. Yeah, that's cool to see. That's a very rare car. So yeah, there's my first look at the brand new 2019 BMW M135i. If you did like this video, then please make sure you subscribe, share, and like. And I will see you guys in the next one.